So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I want to bring to you the three best rune farms in this game. We are currently the 27th of July 2022 and new rune farming spots are popping up daily on YouTube but still these three old rune farms, months old, are still the very very best you can do. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so, these three rune farming spots take place in the Mogwin Dynasty area, right down here, uh, southeast of the Siofa River. Now to get down here guys, you can do this two ways, you can do the white face of our request line, search YouTube for that, that actually starts right there next to the first step, or guys, you can get down here into this area, we are going up into the later stages of the end game and using the teleporter located I believe somewhere around there could be around there I can't remember or around there but hey we will end up down here like I said search has to get to the Mogwin Dynasty area or search YouTube for a guide on how you get this thing right here because this takes you right here too uh, the Pure Blood Knights of Metal this is actually rewarded to you for completing the white face of our request line which allows you to get to this beautiful area where all these amazing rune farming uh, spots take place. Now, the actual one grace point you want to actually get to here is this one I'm at. The Palace Approach Ledge Road. This is where you want to get to. This is by far the best uh, spot in the area for all these rune farms. Okay, so to get to here, guys, what I'll do is actually, you know what, because you're probably going to, uh, if you learn about this spot for the first time you're probably going to have this you're going to use this and you're going to end up right here and i'll go to this grace point from where you actually spawn in using this metal okay so from here guys you want to turn around jump on your horse and pull on my light because it's a little dark around here and just run just run ignore the giant skeletons that will come out the floor and try and eat yes ignore them just run past them I know these big dudes too. Run past them. Run around here. Go left or right here, it doesn't matter. But these guys will spin at you. Yep. Oh, that was close. Just took me off my horse. And then you simply wanna run up this hill. Just like so. Just like so. Run past all these ads. Don't worry about these. Go straight to this grace point right here and rest. Now you have the grace point activated. Now from this spot here is where the goodness happened. This one grace point uh, is basically surrounded by the three best room farms in the game. The first best in the game without a shadow of a doubt is basically using the relic sword. The relic sword guys is rewarded to you for cashing in the remembrance for the last boss in the game. Uh, you take it to the round table, cash that in, and you get this beast right here. This allows you guys to take out all these ads on this hill with more or less a couple of swings. Just like so. And you'll see the runes will build up in that bottom corner. Just like so. And I will say this is not on any new game plus. So if you're playing a new game plus, you get many, many more. So you can see you can get roughly around 70 odd thousand per swing if you use a... Uh, these two at the same time as using the actual the gold scab which increases runes as well so yes you can just then just sit down at this grace stand back up and then run back do it again it really is that simple now there are other uh, weapons in this game which you can take out these ads on this hill uh, relatively quickly not as quickly as this weapon but quite quick uh, which still would make this the best room farm in the game. I've actually made a video, and I think five plus weapons you can do this with. I'll link that in the video description. If I forget that, just search my channel for it. But I will try my hardest to remember that and link it down below. But yeah, that's the best room farm in the game. There's no two which ways about it. 100%. The second best room farm in the game is well, it consists of you jumping off the map with a weapon and just swinging that weapon. Now you need to come to here, jump on your horse. Is my light still on? Yeah, it was. Okay, so run past all these. Now you can jump down that way. 
but it's a little harder. We're just going to follow this easier path. Come down here. And this, this actual method gives you around 140, 150 every two minutes, I'd say. Because you have to run to the spot as well. Let's run past all these, run past all these. Jump over here, ignore these dogs. Come this way. And come to this kind of graveyard right here. I've actually tried to patch this. But nope, it still works. All you need to do, guys, is jump down here now you'll see there's a little thing there that little you can see there's a little symbol on it a little like note text thing let's jump onto that once you are here you then guys just double jump through the rock and just swing your weapon again you can use a gold pickled foul foot before you do this but once you teleport to a grace which just consists of after you've done this you lose the buff of the gold pickled foul foot so you'd have to use it every time you did this but what's actually happening here guys is um you have to double jump as well guys you have to be on your horse so do exactly what i did uh double jump through the rock swing your weapon swinging your weapon uh cancels out the death animation you do this for long enough and all the ads above you will the uh, well the map above you despawns and as will fall to their death uh you get all the runes simple as that and it's probably about 140 every 150 every time once you get there, I think there's like two or three bursts of runes that will pop up on your screen. You'll see that in a second. Now you see daily rune farming spots uh, pop up on YouTube, all within the Mogwin Dynasty area. All of it consists of you climbing up, jumping here, jumping there, and double jumping and swinging your weapon. But this is by far the best, fastest, and easiest one to use within this area. Uh, but like I said, you do have to do it. You can see that boost there. Look how much runes I just got then. Quite a jump, people. Quite a jump. Uh, I think you may get a couple more bursts as well if you keep falling keep swinging Before for another few seconds and see what happens. I can't really remember Because if I need use runes, I use the first method I showed you guys. There you go There's another burst of runes and then maybe one more But hey, when you're sure you've had your runes, you simply then guys just fast travel back to that grace point Simple as that uh, Then if you want to rinse and repeat the process jump on your horse wrong button and just run back down. I'll run back down for you one more time to showcase you exactly where it is. So run past all these guys. Run past all these. Don't worry about any of them. They can't catch you if you're on your speed little horse. Just like so. Come through here. Jump over here. Only make your way to the back corner. Don't worry about that big bird. He can't catch your ass. You're too quick. You're too quick. Then guys, like I said, you just want to come to this corner, just like so, and then just, well, just drop down onto it, and double jump, I actually got lucky then, but hey, that still works, but that still works, you fall down, uh, swing your weapon, get your runes, and you can simply just fast travel back, simple as that, simple as that, rinse and repeat. Okay, so the uh, other method, which is relatively easy to consists of you having a bow and loads of arrows simple as that so you put it on then what you want to do is you obviously want a two-hander weapon and then you want to come to this spot right here you see that bird there you need to aim for this bird now i don't know if they've tried patching this um i'm not even sure and you'll see the bird nine times out of ten runs off the map now the way I do it is, I mean, because I know a lot, I have seen a lot of people say this is patched, it don't work anymore. Now my method is, and I showcase it to you exactly what you gotta do. But you'll reset at the grace, you'll run and stand in this spot right here, and you'll quickly just shoot in between that branch. You can see like a C shape here, that C shape there. You shoot in between it. Once you get the rhythm down, the bird runs off the map every time. And I'll try and prove this to you. I'll probably fail, but here goes. Then we run to that spot guys just like so and then just aim for the seat just like so shoot the bird up his ass and you'll see guys that he runs off the map and i think you get like 13k every time that's without using a gold pickled foul foot then you can just simply sit back down at the grace stand back up now as soon as you shot the bird you don't have to wait for him to run off the map you can run back down run over here and sit back down stand back up run back here 
rinse and repeat simple as that now actually while i'm here guys because if i do forget and i'll show you a couple of weapons you can use to actually farm these dudes on this hill um obviously you got the relic sword which is just the best in the game <laughs> but there's also a few others now where are they where are they okay so we have this Margaret sacred spear unbelievable at doing this we have actually comes guys from the main bus in this area by the way um i'm sure you'll search youtube if you're confused right up here kill this dude you get his remembrance you take it to uh, the round table cash in and pick the weapon we also have where are we where are we where are we? i'm not sure that where are we? i don't know if i see it i don't know exactly what it is so this ain't too bad either by the way the blasphemous blaze quite good so it's uh no that's not good that's not good i think it's the ruins great sword is it no it's this is great this is absolutely great uh, this is actual uh radan's weapon so once you kill radan you can cash in his remembrance and use this as well i'm sure there's one more here and i made a video of like five plus but off the top of my head i can't really remember them i really can't i apologize but i know these ones i'm showing you work great i'm pretty sure it's this you know i'm gonna try it let me just put this on i think i do think it's this yeah this weapon's great at doing this so again um just stand here you're good get those runes people get those runes make as you can see like i said they ain't all as quick as the relic sword and don't forget these guys will some of them will fight back so your build needs to be quite decent as well you can also use as well that's what my other video covered uh some of those some of that magic some of those spells that sorcery so you can see that's great the ruins great so now i do believe the ruins great so it comes from uh enemies here i'm pretty certain once you get to this this grace point here in red main castle before you go on to fight with dawn i'm sure there's an enemy here or a couple of enemies here where you get this weapon i'm certain of that okay so we also have the relic sword we know about we'll put that away and this is radan's weapon as i said once you kill radan you get these bad boys and these as well guys are great absolutely great suck them in slam them done simple as that suck them in and slam them simple as that they ain't got the distance the range as other weapons have but it's still quite powerful so you're good you can take out quite a lot of them in one there you go that's quite good as well i'll show you now mugwin sacred spear which is one of my favorite weapons in the game which is this beast i absolutely love it it's the same sort of thing as well people this works wonders this does work wonders so just stand boom kills them pretty quick as well really quick this weapon's incredible i love it and again just run down to the bottom of the hill kill them there does exactly the same thing as one more i'm sure of it so one more i've got on me uh, nope i have showed you there is another couple but again i'll try and link the video in the video description if i do remember uh, as well as in that video like i said the sorcery and spars you can take out all these ads too well yeah people these are the best room farms in this game bar none they will take place in the mugwin dynasty area again search youtube for a white face fire request line uh, that will give you the actual pure blood knights medal which is used to get to that area otherwise you have to uh, traverse all the way up into the end game area within the Halli uh, hidden path to the hallig tree uh, and it's quite a quite a mission quite a mission i've actually made a video it's titled 13 hidden paths and secret locations uh, which showcases exactly where this teleporter is and the white face via quest line so i'll link that down below as well isn't as detailed as some of the guys you will find on youtube but it should help you out but yeah there we have it guys the three best room farms in the game 
And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, I don't think be sure to subscribe and hopefully I might be a YouTuber people. I will see you on that next one.